I know it's not politically correct to compare people to animals, but we're going to do it anyway. <laughs> All of you are like alligators. I'm going to prove it to you. If I'm in a room full of alligators and I want them to, to line up in a single file line, can I get them to do it? No. <laughs> what do I need to motivate alligators? What are alligators looking for? Food, Food but more specifically, meat. <laughs> alligators need meat. Now, all of you, especially smart people, are just like alligators. Question. Raise your hand if in your regular everyday life, you're kind of good at solving problems. If there's a problem to solve, you can usually find a solution. OK, excellent. Hands down. Second question, raise your hand if you like the feeling you get when you solve a problem, especially if you can do it before anyone else. <laughs> oh, yeah, there we go. Now, if you're kind of good at solving problems and you like the feeling you get when you solve a problem, then you're not happy unless you have a problem to solve. <laughs> You've walked right into my trap because for smart people, problems are meat. <laughs> now, I could be a terrible boss, a terrible manager, and say, we've had huge problems, and walk in here and say, I found the solution. I know exactly what we're going to do. Everyone, follow me. But how much more powerful is it for me to step back and give that meat, those problems, to my audience, to my team? Let them come up with the ideas. Let them come up with the solutions. Because then, not only are you the kind of leader that everyone wants to work with, you're the kind of leader that everyone is hungry to work with.